there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, and today I'm coming to you from the MSC Yacht Club with Captain Bill and Tig Old Biddy's Trish. And tonight is what type of night here, Bill? Italian night. So we are going to bring you a review of the Italian food on Italian night on MSC. I always tell people, and look, the internet says MSC's food's a little, eh? This is their best performing night. Well, it should be. If you like Italian. Uh, no, it's an Italian cruise line, right? Well, yeah, yeah. They're the Mediterranean shipping company. No, no. We're having Italian food. So we're going to try most of the menu uh, from here in Yacht Club, as well as some stuff from downstairs. And we'll let you know how it is. So, viva Italia. And... How do you say it? Ciao bella. Or something ciao. like that. Ciao, ciao bella. Ciao. Food time. Okay. We'll see you for the first course, second course, third course, everything. Tell you what's good, what's bad, and what's indifferent. Stay tuned. Now, one of the really funny things this Italian cruise line coming to America still hasn't figured out. Trish, what is one of the things they still haven't figured out? We just got water. Bill, ice. what does everything lack unless you specifically ask for it? Ice. It's so weird, isn't it? Like, do they not know they're operating in America with Americans? I, I, I kind of got grabbed when I, because I've been getting ice yeah. water, and yeah. I kind of got a lot of bullshit. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's so weird that just to get ice. It's like, okay, no, I will, I will take the menus. We'll take the menus. And uh, so we got the menus. Yep. And uh, but ice is just a weird thing. Right. So we got our order, and I think we got a lot of the menu from upstairs and downstairs. We got calamari. We got fried shrimp. We got uh, you got carpaccio. We got buffalo mozzarella. We got uh, lasagna. We got chicken parmesan. We got asabuco. We got uh, a risotto. We got minestrone. But they asked, "What do we want to eat?" We're going to stick with Italian themed things tonight. So we shall start with a limoncello. Now this is usually an aperitivo that you have after dinner. And I believe this is MSC's own private label brand. They also have Meloncello and that's just Meloncello, right? Yeah. Just meloncello and Lemoncello. They don't serve the Meloncello on board. You can only get that one now. In the liquor store. To take off it's the like ship. A sambuca also. They have a Sambuca that they make. Um, yeah. But I think after that, with our main course, we're going to have a some aperoni, right? We have to stick with the Italian stuff, okay. right? No, yeah, yeah. We're going to stick with the Italian beer. Come on, are we going to. All right. We're going to stay in the scheme. Also, we have some invisible dinner guests. <laughs> um, team red and team green. I was wondering where the white napkins were, and then I realized. Tommy. They're right there. Dubby, we'll dubby, see dubby. you when the appetizers come. For our appetizer here, I think we all got mozzarella. Trish got fewer appetizers, so she got to double, double mozzarella. Well, almost. Plus I know you'll all, have extra. Almost double mozzarella. Almost, yeah. Almost. Three balls versus five balls. Mm. Trish. I can take five balls. Hey, Bill, I got a question. Yes. How many balls can you juggle? She can juggle five, apparently. I mean, all you got to do is juggle three and then jump up and down, and then you're doing five ball juggling. I am an expert at five ball juggling. That's all I'm saying. As long as at least, as long as the majority of the balls are in the air, it's considered Except he juggling. doesn't have to jump up and down. <laughs> Not sure I understand that joke. Um, but we'll explain it to you later. Let's see. Let's see how they are. Uh, we got some olive oil drizzled on it. Again, I'm taking there's some some green lettuce on it for some reason. Now we've got um, coming up tomorrow for lunch. We've actually got what's that burrata, burrata. which is it's, it's it's a version of mozzarella, right? It's yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. It's like mozzarella on the inside with like creamy cheese added. It's just not. That's good. That it's very good. fresh. It is good. I will say it's the best mozzarella of any cruise line, but you would expect that. Look, we are giving MSC the best chance here. I think that's the important thing. We're doing this on Italian night. Yeah. If Italian night's not good, well, then it's all downhill. It's all downhill from there. Yeah. I. Mm. Huh? On what? It's good. I know Trish likes burrata more, but... Yeah, I like... Yeah. But it's pretty good. I just on the menu tonight. We got a bunch of stuff coming. Soups. We got some calamari and some fried shrimp. Downstairs, in the main dining room, they only have calamari. Here they have calamari, fried shrimp, and cuttlefish served together. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to taste no cuttlefish. So, uh... I, I like cuttlefish or have you never had it? 
I don't like fish that are white. Oh, Gage loves them. I don't like white fish. Um, you should have uh, tried it. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna try two thirds of it. I, I'm just not. I'm not allergic or anything like that. I've just chosen not to. Uh, not to have white fish because I. Here's the thing. I'm gonna give people bad ideas and stuff. I'm. I got two thirds of the dish, and I think that's the important thing. I have a majority of the dish, 66.66666%. So, we'll see when that comes. But so far, uh, this is something that I believe is only on the Yacht Club menu tonight. But we will tell you when something's available on both menus or available on one or the other. This is something that's only available on the MSC Yacht Club menu tonight. The rest of the menu is for Aurora, Fantastica, Bella. Let's just make up a bunch of words that sound like they mean something classes. But really don't. But really don't. We'll get there. Stay tuned. So our next course, we all got something a little bit different, but pretty much covered the appetizer menu. Though you got the beef carpaccio. Yep. Trish got the um, asparagus, risotto. asparagus risotto. And I got the calamari, which this calamari side of this is also an option in the main dining room. Just like the calamari side. The shrimp and the cuttlefish are something that are exclusive to Yacht Club. I just want people to understand that. You want to try your carpaccio first, Mill? I will try the carpaccio too yep. uh, after you try it. Now, carpaccio has actually been an option up here two or three nights, I believe. Last night it was served with an egg, or two nights ago it was served with an egg. Tonight I don't believe it is served with an egg. Um, oh, I didn't know there was lettuce in it. All right. There That's go. actually pretty good. Really? I think so. Ooh. Yeah. It almost tastes like a filet. If not, it might be a filet. Yeah, All right. could be. I am not a lover of asparagus. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Here, Bill, take a uh, take one of each. Mm. Take a shrimp. I think you gotta dip it in the aioli. The what? It's a sauce. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. And try it with calamari. Good. Dip, dip, dip. Mm. I'm gonna try them too. Thoughts, Bill? Oh, the shrimp is good. The calamari is kind of chewy and fried, and there's kind of nothing there except for the breading. I mean, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Kind of hate on Yacht Club and all. This calamari is from the main dining room menu night. Yeah. Hold on. But, yeah. They're making that for 5,200 people tonight. Right, right, right. No, no. I'm, just, I'm just saying that's what I, that's my opinion. I agree. Calamari's a little chewy. Get the extra shrimp. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that be known to our traveling companions across the way. Yeah. The calamari's chewy. This has for extra, extra shrimp. This is really good. Yeah? If you like asparagus, Trish says that that's a really good dish. This is good. I don't really like asparagus. I love asparagus. So. Mm -hmm. But you thought it was good. I mean, I thought it tasted like asparagus. And uh, we are getting ice uh, 30 minutes hey, from the meal. There now. we go. Remember we talked about this. Huh? Ice bucket! Right, yeah. Ice bucket dance. There we go. They got it from, they got it from the ice fairy. The ice fairy delivered the ice bucket. Just say it. So next up, I've got a minestrone soup. This is a dish that might have a slightly different preparation, but it's the same dish between here and the main dining. I think that's important. It's on both menus tonight. I've not tried it yet. Um, it's thick. It looks like pea soup. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. Looking at the menu. Fresh seasonal vegetables, extra virgin olive oil. It does look like pea soup. Or lentil soup. I don't know. I got some on my bread. I'll take a big bite. Again, technically nothing should be amiss today. Menu? There's nothing bad. I don't think it's bad. Those yeah, facial expressions tell me all. Yeah. It tastes better than it looks. She's going for a second bite. That's interesting. Pass it down. I like it. It's a chunky soup. I like that. I like it chunky. 
That's actually pretty good. Hey, look, everyone's going up. That's just bread. It's fine. It was hard and crusty anyway. It's going crazy on me. I, I believe the fact that everyone went for a second bite should tell you something. It's confusing because you think it's, it's confusing because I think it's going to split like pea soup. Yeah, but it's, but it's actually yeah. got a much more complex flavor. I like yeah. it. Now, limoncello. <laughs> Mm. And I'm making you guys start. No, no, but nope. we're getting into our main courses. I can't chug. I don't. Trish, I'm not telling you to chug it. I'm saying that we have to switch up our drink. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to some of Peroni. That's okay. So we'll come back to you for our main courses. We'll get some Peroni. I'm gonna have some more soup in the meantime. All right. So for our main course, we had to get an Italian beer. And we got these nice frosted glasses. And what's going in there? A Peroni. And maybe for dessert we'll get a Birra Moretti. They have that too or just Peroni? They have Moretti. They're all part of the MSC Mafia family. Uh, but yes, you can see nice frosted glasses. I appreciate that. As the Eucharist, that is the correct way to do it. And we've got all kinds of, look, I, I remember. Look, a lot of people are like, MSC has bad food. I'm giving them benefit of the doubt doing this on Italian night. I will say nothing else was really intrinsically bad, but I will say so far, we've only had appetizers. These appetizers were all really good, weren't yep. they? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm like, I'm looking forward to the main courses. Now I have picked and chosen. Remember that is the lasagna is on the Yacht Club menu. Thank yep. you. And the chicken parmesan is on the standard menu. And I got just boring little chicken, again. I'll take a bite of the pizza. Trish, they have it's a lot boring. of people. I know, but they have a lot of people, and I don't eat. Pizza. You could have gotten lasagna. I don't like lasagna. I don't like tomato sauce. Hey, Bill. She doesn't like lasagna on lasagna night. What is that? Um, she doesn't like lasagna on lasagna night. Trish, that's a you problem. No. That's why I'm eating chicken. Oh, do you want to do vegan night again on Carnival? That was cool. No. You want to do vegan night again? No, that was awful. Bill doesn't even know about that, does he? It was awful. Mm. No, I didn't tell him. Huh. We're going to have a discussion off camera. But if you haven't seen that one yet, check out vegan night. Cheers. Be happy that you didn't go to vegan night on Carnival Miracle. Cheers. I guess that's going to be linked at the end of this video. So, uh, Trish, I'm sorry. You don't matter tonight for your main course. She got some boring ass chicken. I got the lasagna, which was on the Yacht Club menu, and Bill got the uh, beef shank, right? Uh, which is, which is Oh, veal asabuco. Right. Which is supposed to be shank. It's correct? supposed to have a shank, yep. And your former prison maybe, guy. Maybe I didn't. You have plain parmesan also. No, I have I have chicken parmesan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no worries. We're good. So, I've got the um, lasagna, and I did order chicken parmesan off the. Uh, normal dining room menu. I love both and I couldn't decide. So Zoidberg says, why not both? Hey, the broccoli isn't rock hard tonight. It's good. I don't know if, look, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if my Americanness just expects us to taste more he likes lasagna. unnatural. Here, Bill, I mean. You like lasagna. It is very good. But it also tastes too healthy for me. <laughs> You've eaten lasagna in Italy, correct? I have. You know what I mean, Bill? I actually like that. It's very healthy tasting, though, isn't it? Well, I don't know. There's some cheese in there. I don't know what you mean. I know. It tastes so natural. You mean without a bunch of You got of cheese. You got on? sauce. You got... I'm not saying the ingredients aren't there. Pasta. I think that's just as unhealthy as any other lasagna. Go ahead, Josh. You, want you don't even like lasagna. There you go. You want a batty this for? I do want some shank. All right. That's actually not bad. I'm not a lasagna, lasagna fan. That's not bad. Okay. Let's try some shank. Right. Let's see how. Let's see how. Uh, I will try that. That actually looks really good. That's lamb shank. Oh, uh, that's veal. Veal. So technically beef. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That gravy is delicious. That's mm. tender. Oh. My first bite was almost cold though. Was it really? Yeah. Did I, was there just a cold egg corner that I got? 
Uh, it I agree. It's hotter. a little cool. It could be hotter. From the lasagna is hot. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's awful. It's good, but it's, it's uh, yeah, it's almost cold. Sorry, Trish. Your chicken I mean, doesn't matter. Uh, Trish has questions about I the chicken. I can cut it. Seems like a you problem. All right, I've got some chicken parmesan coming. Did you get a second course though? No, this okay. is all I got. So I got some chicken parmesan coming. So I got to finish my lasagna real quick. Oh yeah, pretty good chicken parmesan right there. And it goes pretty well with, um, let's see. Ooh. The Peroni is actually a good pairing for it, I have to say. I will say that uh, Bill did find the shank, right? Yep. He used to be right a prison guard. Eventually you find yep. the shank. Every cell you look at, right? Yep, it's right here. It's a... Every cell you look at, you eventually find a shank if you look hard enough, right? That's it. Oh, wow. The marrow? Have you tried the marrow yet or no? I didn't try it yet, no. Mm. Look at that marrow. That is... That's, that's a good marrow. Good. Yeah. That actually is much better than I thought it would be. Last time you had marrow, it was disgusting. No, no, no. Last time I had marrow was on Virgin. It's like a year ago on Virgin Voyages. Remember that was one of the appetizers in the steakhouse, was the, the bone marrow? He had it somewhere and it was awful and really greasy. Yeah. Where it's was, not here. I want to be no, clear. No. no, no, not here. No, let's, no let's, this let's, is let's this good. Let's service that for 30 seconds. All right. So, yeah, that's a pretty good dish. I think the marrow is better than the beef itself. I agree. The, the, but, uh, I actually agree. The marrow melts in your mouth like butter. Mm -hmm. It's like meat butter. Hey, look. I Trish is stealing some. Bite. She's the fact that everyone's taking second bites That's of things tonight. Damn good. And I, I would order that. And I'm not a lasagna fan. You're not a beef fan. No. She likes but pig. But I definitely do not like. I don't like tomato sauce, and I don't like lasagna. And I actually would order that. That's delicious. Well, I'm actually very impressed. We got chicken parmesan coming up next. That's good. Which again, chicken parmesan is from Gen Pop. It's so being served. It's what's being served to everyone. I will tell you something I miss, okay? What's You've done MSC before I did MSC ever, correct? Yep. Yeah. We've been sailing with them for years. The first time I sailed on MSC on Italian night, they had a guy that was making pasta as you came into the dining room. I'm ready for the second one. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you told me. Yeah, yeah. You never had that? I was talking about the Gen Pop dining room. No. Nope. They had like a special pasta the night that wasn't on the menu. Happened to me twice. And then I went and I asked for it um, in December. Mm -hmm. And they said that all the menus changed in December. And then I went and asked for it in January. It was cruise you guys weren't on. Mm -hmm. I did the MSC Magnifica in January. And I'm like, what the hell happened to the great Italian menu? The Italian memory, it's good. All right, but here's, here's, here's the dark thing. It used to be better. I know that's what's crazy. It, it used to actually be better, in my opinion. This is not as good as now. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not as good. This meal so far is not as good as the main dining room Italian night that I had an MSC the first time I sailed them. Yeah. It's a strong statement to make, but I also believe in my heart of hearts, a valid one. Oh, there we go. So here we go. Let's go for some second pasta-ish dish. Oh, this one is not pasta. Bill got the asabusco. Nope. And I got a chicken parmesan. Oh. Now one more comment I have go ahead. The peas are kind of hard and dry. They it's look like gross. they're kind of gross. I mean, it's it's like how do you mess up peas? All right. Well, look at the asparagus this time. Okay. Hey, hey, look, we're we're fair. Well, they're kind of small, but all right. The shit out of it. All right. Let's. Uh, all right. Mm. Trish. I don't like. Uh -huh. Okay, Bill. Yeah. I'm passing some chicken parm. I like tomato sauce. Thoughts? That's Gen Pop food. No, that's pretty good. It's not the best bit of chicken parmesan I've had, but it's pretty good. I still like the real, what I'm about to say is going to hurt MSC a lot. I still like Carnival's chicken parmesan best. Oh. As I said. Here, I'll cut a piece without a little a bunch Please, of Please, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't like tomato sauce. And it's actually real chicken. It's not the tofurkey chicken. No, it's not tofurkey <laughs> vegan chicken. No? The breading needs seasoning or something. Did you have the chicken parmesan on carnival or no? I don't think so. 
So no, chicken parmesan, just... parmesan was really perfected for Carnival as a restaurant called Cucina del Capitano. That on the on the older chips was a specialty restaurant, and on Celebration Jubilee, a Mardi Gras is included. And I think that's the best cruise ship cool. chicken parmesan. I really what none. No, I got like a weird after taste in my mouth. Mm. Oh, Wash no. it out with a Peroni. Oh. That's awful. Lee Del- no, it's awful. No. So she didn't like it. I actually enjoy it. But um, we'll see you back for our just desserts. And we have to figure out what we're going to have. Maybe an Italian tort for dessert? We have to We have to. each course we're pairing with mm. something Italian. Do have an Italian port? I don't know if Italian, is Italy port a thing? I always think of Portugal when I think of port, but I don't yeah, know. It's port, yeah, Portugal. Oh no. We gotta find something Italian to finish that's on the show. <laughs> I know we usually finish with lemon show, okay. damn it. That's how I said I don't uh, know. We'll have to figure that out. All right, so. We said for dessert, you know, we already had the limoncello, so I found a dessert online called a sorgapino. And I brought four giant scoops of lemon, uh, lemon sorbet downstairs. It's lemon sorbet, prosecco, and vodka is what's in it, equal parts. Uh, we added, I'm not gonna lie, we added a little bit of ice because the lemon sorbet didn't make it icy enough. But it, this is the Italian equivalent of a pina colada. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, so this is, thank you. Thank this you. This is the Italian equivalent of a pina colada. That's what a blender full made. Uh, so, are you ready to try it? I, I adjusted the recipe a few times downstairs. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> Isn't that good, Well, That is good. That's a pretty good drink. It's literally just Prosecco, lemon sorbet. Thank you. A Prosecco, lemon sorbet, and uh, vodka. And the cherry, cherry on top. The cherry was not was not part of the instructions, but um, the cherry was added after. Yeah, fan. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, I didn't nice have any. And light. It's nice and light, unlike me. Um, yeah, but the so so s g r o p p i n o so grappino. I think I did a reasonable job picking out some drinks tonight. There's only one problem, guys. What's that? You've not been keeping up. You know I don't drink that much. I also keep that for my my big old dumb son. Uh oh. He had to class this place out. <laughs> Don't belch it into the glass. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, Tubby. Damn, Tub. No. <laughs> That's strong. No. Really, the melon chill doesn't go? They're coming to get you. They're coming to get me. You coming to get me, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Someone can chug here. Good dessert. But we still have dessert. We still have our just desserts to come. And I'm not a tiramisu fan, so. Did you get one? No. Oh. I didn't get a tiramisu. Oh. Trish got the cheese plate. And a lemon. Oh, you got the lemon cello delight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, what'd you get, Bill? Uh, I got, yeah, I got a Sunday. We'll wrap this up and we'll let you know, but I did drop off some of these at another table. And I don't want to see what they thought of it. And some of you downstairs, a subscriber. Ooh, there's a limoncello thing. A subscriber actually came up to me upstairs and wanted to introduce themselves. And I'm like, I'm working on a drink. You want to try it? And then I got a whole bunch of people. I got a whole bunch of people involved in trying this drink. Oh, all right. Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Thank you. It looks really pretty, but I'm not sure how Italian it is. I'm just saying. But I do like... It looks good though. Mmm, it does. I want to try, I want to try just with, well, I can't get it without all the junk on there. I just want to taste just the ice cream. Oh, it's like strawberry quick. Oh. It is like strawberry nest quick. Oh, that's awful. No, well, that's that takes exactly you back to like eight years old. Oh, no, awful. Well, try your lemon breast implant. That's pretty good. Oh, it's moist. Moist. It's moistica. Moistica. 
Alright, bags, you gotta taste this. That's good. Wait, wait. Let's finish this up and then we'll uh we'll wrap it all up for Italian night here. Oh, I never let it go. Oh, that's actually growing on me. Hold up. You know what that reminds me of? I'm gonna say a bad word in this in this household. That reminds me of the dessert from the steakhouse on Virgin Voyages. Look at that hard lemon. Uh-huh. Very good dinner. Mini, mini. Very, Very good. Very good. Yes, it's really good. Yeah. Thumbs up. All right, so let's wrap this up. We've been looking at the, um, what is this? This is Italian night. Sera Italian. That means Italian. night. Italiano. Italiano. Hairy women, and they're talking with our hands. Uh, that's the Italian way. Bill, your thoughts? Bad. I think of the meals so far, this was the best. Uh, it's up there, yeah, I think so. Uh, I agree like with everything. That. <clears throat> I agree with that. Nothing was really amiss except for Nesquik. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the Nesquik But I'm not going to lie, Nesquik was not described as necessarily Italian. None of us are super tiramisu fans, but I do know people who love the tiramisu here. Yeah. I'm just not a coffee drinker, so me judging tiramisu, I don't think you really drink coffee, and you don't really drink coffee either. No. Or, or James would be the one to judge that. He loves tiramisu and he loves coffee. Yeah. That's their actual son. I'm just their adopted son. Remember, again, I adopted them if this happens to be your first video. Um, this is Richard. Take old biddies and... Captain Bill. Captain Bill Baggins. Coming to you from the MSC Seascape Yacht Club. Talking about Sera Italian Night. On our fifth night on board, and I have to say, the best meal of the five nights so far. And just based on my recollection... In main dining, it will stay as the best meal. Yep. So, um, Richard and all of us from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no pants, Bill, what's the only thing you got left to lose? Is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.